this, mate. See him up there? Right there. Boy, can he climb? And it's hard to tell whether it's venomous or non-venomous. Probably going up the tree, scared of the elephant, scared of getting trampled. Whoa, and he's grumpy. Really grumpy. I'm gonna have to take him down, branch and all. And he's striking at me. Crikey, he's angry. Wow. Have a look at this. He's a bit grumpy. Have a look at this. This is a mangrove snake. And he's venomous. And as you can see, he, he bites. And he bites hard. I like to eat birds and frogs. Have a look at that head. Big head, big solid jaw structure. And he'd pack quite a wallop. Look at those colors. Gor gorgeous coloration. And you can see his tongue flicks. He can locate exactly where I am, exactly where my hands are. Deadly accurate. <laughs> and I just got to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just got to stay a little quicker than he is and just out of strike range. Wow. And look at those large yellow scales. Now these are a rear fanged venomous snake. And he's big, like he's big enough to pack a good enough wallet. He'd be the same as our brown tree snake from Australia, or actually it comes all the way up into Indonesia. And they'd kick you around a bit. He's grumpy. And I can understand why. I've taken him out of his tree, whew, had to bring the branch with me, because he was gonna tag me one way or the other. Mind you, I wouldn't want to take a belt off him. It'd hurt, and I'm not sure how the venom would affect you. Crikey, that was close. I felt the wind of his mouth snapping together right at my lips. He's a little grumpy. So let's put him back into the tree where he can go about hunting. Come on, mate. There you go, buddy. You watch the way he climbs. His scales, his ventral scales, those underneath, are quite modified for gripping trees really well. Here it is, just up ahead, the final destination of our walk across a part of Africa that's teeming with wild animals, including some of the most dangerous creatures on Earth. After the dryness of the open forests and plains, there's a new set of wildlife around the wetlands and lakes, and new predators and new prey. This bird's chomping down a snake, down she goes. This place is crawling with snakes, and the one I'm looking for is the biggest. Aggressive, but certainly not the most dangerous creature here. Come here, mate. Oh, look at this. Hey! You're, you're all right, mate. This is an African rock python, and he's aggressive. Hey! Really aggressive. Come on, buddy. You're all right. You're all right now. Now, they grow a heck of a lot bigger than this. In actual fact, they're known to grow big enough to kill and eat people. <laughs> so this is only a little one. <laughs> hey, 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 settle down. But I tell you what, as small as he is, he makes up for it with aggression. He means big. Now, he's not seeing me as a food source. He's simply seeing me as an annoyance, as a potential predator, which I'm not. I just want to show you the beauty of this snake. Hey, hey, hey. All right. All right, all right already. Go on your way. Crikey. They grow to be the biggest African species of snake. But I tell you what, right here, right in here and here, is the most dangerous of all African species. In fact, it's the most dangerous species in the entire world. The mosquito.
house this little beauty. Now this is the red spitting cobra. They, they're notoriously fast and they have copious amounts of venom. I'm just gonna give him something to target. Oop, there he goes, he's spitting. And they've got a very long, narrow hood. Look at the way he's hooding up there. You're all right, mate, you're all right. Hey, he's not that aggressive. He's not too aggressive at all. Come on, buddy, have a look at that beautiful coloration. Wow, do you see that? That is why they're called spitting cobras. And these spitters, they've got really good eyesight. And you can see the way they spit. They actually project their fangs out and accurately spit. They max out at about four feet in length, 1.2 meters. Isn't that a magnificent coloration? <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, he's a little bit grumpy. The thing with these red spitters is they're quick, very fast, and quite aggressive, actually, once they get riled up. <laughs> and spit! The coloration is just... is just perfectly matched to this environment. Beautifully matched. You see these lovely red, rocky outcrops? Hey, hey, hey! They love to feed on frogs, geckos, small lizards, any little rodents. They eat these mice that you find up here on the rocks and they'll actually go into the huts. You're all right, buddy, you're all right. Oh boy, his tongue's going pretty good. You're all right, mate. You see that he was gonna bite me, all right? He's just getting a little bit grumpy. Now, they're not a very large cobra. They max out at about four feet in length. You're all right, oh, you're spitting, you're a good boy. You're all right. I'm just gonna let him go on his way now. I don't wanna get him too tired. Hey, are you all right? Oh, he's spitting away there. You're okay, go on then. Oh, one final little spit to make sure I don't follow him. Ooh, mamba. It's a green mamba and he's already onto me. Mammas are one of the fastest and smartest snakes on the entire African continent. He slides through the trees like grease lightning. As I go up, he decides to go down. They can go across the ground as quick as they can go through the trees. Here he goes, he's making a run for it. I'm onto him. Now he's on the ground, I've got a good chance. Keep your wits about you, Steve-O. You make a mistake and you could be dead. These things are fast and volatile. Mammoths have got the name as one of the worst in the world. Think about it, Steve-O. Yes, he's green, man. What I've got to try and do, there's no way I can deal with him here. I've got to get him into a mango tree. Once I get him into a mango tree, then I can work safely around him. In this stuff, it's just too dangerous. I'd get tagged before I could get a glove on him. You can see he's got all these pivot points with all this low shrubbery that he can just get around and tag me and they're quick. I've been tracking him on the ground. I can't keep up with him. And now that I've got him in this little tree, I need to get him in that mango tree. Let's just see if I can bend this tree over. No, you can't come this way, mate. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. Have a look at him. Beautiful snake. Come on, buddy. This is my first green mamba. Here he comes. Watch, you watch how quick he's on the... No, 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 hey. Here he goes. He's going straight for the mango tree. Mambas are dangerous, deadly dangerous, and they've got the reputation as being one of the worst in the world. However, what I'm starting to experience is these things are intelligent. While I'm learning him, he's learning me. Have a look at this. Check this out. This is the mighty green mamba. Have a look at the fluorescent colours of it. What a beautiful snake! Fluorescent green. 
trying to get a curl of his tail around my hand. And you can see him starting to puff his throat up. He's grumpy, but he's pretty cool. You can see how powerful they are at climbing. No problem here. You're all right, mate. I've got a problem. You're all right, but... Uh-oh, go the other way. If he comes right at me now, I've got a huge problem. I'm gonna have to just drop out of the tree. I guess I'd sooner that than take a bite. No, mate, no, 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 no. You can see when he starts to come up his own body, he'd be able to get straight up there and tag me. This species of snake has been known to cause fatal bites in humans. They're a very toxic animal. They spend most of their time in the trees, hunting for birds and small mammals. So not often do they come into a conflict with man. In, uh, in plantations, in mango trees, it happens. When I say bites don't happen that regularly, it happens more regularly than snake bite in Australia. He's very quiet. Thank goodness for that, because I'm in his element. Stuck up here in this mango tree, if he was aggressive and he went me, I couldn't get away. There's no way I could get away quick enough. So let's just let him on his way. The green mamba! Woo! Beautiful snake. Good, good hunting, matey. Here we go. Ed Smart. Look at that head. Reeks of intelligence. This vast desert may look completely devoid of life, but Steve has a gift, an uncanny ability to read nature, to be able to find animals even under rocks in the crevices of the ground where you'd least expect it. It's almost like the force. Whoa, look at this one. Fierce snake. Look at the way he slides across the. Hey, hey. Woo! Here we go. He's gonna bite. He's like really grumpy now. Let me just see if I can grab him. Oh, he's lively. He's ripped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. No, nah, he's not stopping. He's big. He knows the venom he's got. I'm gonna have to be so careful here. I can't afford to make a mistake out here. All I wanna do is show you the beauty of this animal. He doesn't understand that. He thinks I wanna kill him. Ho! Come on, mate. When he turns and faces me like that, that's danger, extreme danger. He means business and he'll bite, no doubt about it. This is the fierce snake, the most venomous snake in the world. One of the most toxic animals on the face of the earth. And it's my job, it's my ambition to show you this snake. Not so you're scared, not so you fear this animal, but so you're passionate and enthusiastic about all of our wildlife. Come on, mate. He's settling down. He's settling down. My dad taught me from a very early age, be at one with the snake. Feel it, son. And I am. Woo! Okay, he's settled. I've got time. I've got time. I've made mistakes with fear snakes in my life. I've had them come up to my face. I've had them near bite me on the legs, near bite me on the hands. And it's been my fault. It's been my mistake every single step of the way. The trick to deal with venomous snakes, as I learnt at a very young age, is give him space. This is his territory. This is his terrain, his environment. He's the biggest predator out here. Nothing but nothing would touch this snake. Not even the biggest goanna. They would not have a go at an animal this size. Too big, venom just too potent. Woo, he's settling right down now. Isn't this wonderful? That initial rush when you come onto a fierce snake is awesome. But I just had to turn him, get him away, otherwise he would have bolted straight back down a hole and we wouldn't have been able to see him. And this is just such a special moment. This is what I want to share with you. Look at it.
beautiful animal, the most venomous snake in the world.